Welcome to the Hollywood Scholar, I'm Jed Morgan, and one of the most detrimental things that is at the top priority of Hollywood in the modern day, besides of course wokeness, is the idea of cinematic universes and franchises being the name of the game. I feel like that is incredibly detrimental to the creative process and just shows that creativity is not the top priority. It is money making, it is cash grabbing, and that is ultimately damaging to any product that these studios are planning to put out. Besides, of course, wokeness, I do believe that content for content's sake is one of the most damaging things in Hollywood currently. From Disney Plus, just putting out as many, many shows as they possibly can as quickly as they can, and movies as well. The MCU is dying partially as a result of that. And every other seeming studio wants to replicate the success of the MCU but without realizing that that is specifically why the MCU is dying. And it looks like Dexter is following in the footsteps of that current mindset by getting a cinematic universe with spinoffs and prequels. Now, Dexter is one of my favorite shows of all time. I love the exploration of a psychotic mind. It's one of my favorite pieces of entertainment out there is explorations of those types of personalities. And as much as the end of the series wasn't good, I still enjoyed it definitely in the minority about that but one of the first things i ever did on this channel was review the initial sequel show dexter new blood which attempted to fix the errors of the end of dexter by having him live if they just cut out that last 30 seconds of dexter where they show him living i think a lot of people would have more positive reception to the end of that series as a whole but they attempted to fix that by killing him off as the initial intention or the initial implication of the main Dexter finale was and it wasn't good Dexter New Blood is not good by any stretch of the imagination but Showtime is doubling down despite it not getting good ratings and attempting to do more spin-offs and more prequels to capitalize off the Dexter brand which is a problem because the Dexter brand is not very strong whatsoever partially because of that failed finale of the initial series and the failed reboot of the sequel series it's just not in a very good place right now and nobody's interested but it's what Hollywood has to do in the current day and age they have to franchise they have to make spin off sequels and reboots that's the only thing they have because creativity is completely divorced from the current mind state of hollywood they can't do creativity first it's money making content for content sake first and reboots sequels prequels they're an easy way to not have to come up with the new ideas or make a financial risk and i think that's the biggest problem in all this besides of course wokeness is the idea of money being the higher priority than good storytelling yes money should be a good priority and should come above things like political activism or teaching a message it should be telling a good story and money making those are top priorities absolutely but it should not come above creativity because the current state of hollywood is the result of having money making as a higher priority than and creativity as many spin-offs and sequels and prequels and every single thing under the sun in a cinematic universe as franchises coming above maybe telling a new story trying to come up with a new fresh idea is incredibly damaging and overall it has damaged nearly every single franchise that it has infected can anyone name a good franchise that has survived the content for content's sake infection of the current business first mindset of Hollywood. I can't think of any that have survived because the MCU did do well. It is doing really well, but it is on the downtread because of how much they went away from the good stories that the first three phases of Marvel had. Now they're in that content first mindset where it's just as much, as much, as much as possible. And even it's dying. Even the premier example of a cinematic universe is dying as the box office records show. It's not even succeeding for the MCU, so why should it succeed for things like the Darkverse, like the Monsterverse, like Dexter? But it looks like they're starting out with two main shows for this spinoff with more planned down the road. The first one is a continuation of Dexter New Blood with the perspective of Harrison being the protagonist and the Trinity villain from John Lithgow coming back. That is just... He has such a personal connection to Dexter and he's one of the greatest villains from the main TV show. I just don't see him being a good antagonist for Harrison. I don't want to see Harrison's story at all, especially with the actor playing Harrison from New Blood. It really wasn't a good performance, in my opinion. I wasn't invested in that character, so I'm not interested in the future of this franchise whatsoever. So that's going to be the main one. We kind of heard about that, rumors about that for a while now, but it's officially confirmed. And the other one that's a little bit more concerning is the planned prequel that'll come directly thereafter about young Dexter and his childhood 
being raised by his father and with his sister Dev and the emergence of the Dark Passenger. Now, this is a problem mainly because we've already seen as much of that story as we need to tell. A lot of Dexter was told through flashbacks. We already have a lot of that story told. What more could a prequel series offer that the flashbacks of the main Dexter show didn't offer? It's just a cash grab at the end of the day, and we're going to have to recast all the characters involved. We're not going to have the original cop coming in and teaching young Dexter any of this because he's too old unfortunately and the original actor for young Dexter is an adult now obviously can't use him so this will have very little to do very little connection from an actor standpoint and most likely from a writer and development standpoint as well from the main show it is dead on arrival in my opinion but apparently that is just the beginning that is just scratching the surface for Showtime's plans for the cinematic Dexter universe and I think this is an incredibly damaging idea to the brand of Dexter who is already damage beyond recognition this is not a good idea this will destroy dexter even farther and i don't want to see something that i love destroyed just like every other franchise that i've come across and then of course you have to talk about the elephant in the room the wokeness aspect of it i fully believe that both of these shows will lean more into the wokeness than the original show did it would not surprise me if he only starts to tackle corrupt republican politicians capitalists conservative white men i imagine that's going to be his main target demographic in both the prequel and the sequel series i imagine that's going to be the case so wokeness will probably damage this series as well but i think the bigger problem is the money first content for content's sake perspective that is fueling this expansion of the dexter brand but anyway that's all i have for today i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video anon Hey, yo, are you feeling what I'm doing up in here? Oh, I know you are. Do you miss all the good, compelling stories that we used to get back in Hollywood that they ain't putting down no more? Oh, oh, I know you missing it. So check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern day mental illness issues, baby. Book one, Down in Flames. Book two, Apocalypse Then. These are currently on sale. What are you waiting for? Get your hands on them. And we got book three, Kill the Dark. It's coming down the pipeline. Just wait for all the good stuff that's dropping. You ain't gonna be disappointed, fam.